Alright guys, we are back for more of Nick the Enlightened's birthday special. We just did a three strikes game of the Price is Right 2010 edition for the Nintendo Wii and that was a whole lot of fun. And we did manage to win ourselves a very nice total of $76,098 which was very, very nice. So, for our next segment, we are going to be playing Family Feud Decades for the Nintendo Wii. Let's see if I can make the fast money and win $20,000 this game. Alright, so let's go to single player. And for the decade that we're going to play in, Nick actually requested me to play in the 70s decade. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to do easy difficulty. In Family Feud Decade. We know how to play the game. Alright, let's play the feud. There's my family. You'll be playing against the Clark. Alright, we're taking on the Clarks this game. Alright, let's get started with round one. No time to waste. Let's get into the first round. Let's start the round with a face-off. We surveyed 100 people. Top five, Top five answers are on the board to this question. Name a vegetable used in Italian cooking. Your answer? Name a vegetable used in Italian cooking. Uh, I'm gonna say cauliflower. Let's hope it's there. No. Sorry, no. Let's hear your answer. I. Right, what do my opponents say? How about that answer? Eggplant. No, that's not there either. What's your answer? I'll go with the tomato. Is it up there? Good Number answer. one answer. Alright, I'll play. It's this family's turn to play. Good luck. Do you have an answer for us? Okay. I'll try broccoli. Was that a good answer? No. Your answer isn't there. Give us your answer, please. Hmm. It's kind of getting a little tough for me to figure this one out. Oh, uh, we got a second strike. Okay, you have two strikes so far. Another wrong answer, and you'll give the other family a chance to steal. What's your answer? Oh, boy. I'm not so sure on this one. I don't know. Strike three. It's not there, and this is your third strike. Let's go to the other family. This is your chance to steal. Alright, let's see if my opponents can steal here. On the board. Show us the answer. They say bell peppers. Oh, that was up on the board. It was number two, so it looks like my opponent steal the points. All right, let's see the other answers. Number three, zucchini. I did not think of that one. And number four, garlic. And number five, onion. I I was not thinking that right there. I should have thought of, uh, of some of these remaining answers, but it's all right. All right, let's go to round two and let's see if things go better here. All right, top five answers are on the board to this question. The kind of place that contains a cafeteria. Give us your answer, please. All right, name a kind of place that contains a cafeteria, a school. Is it up there? Oh. Number one answer. Like I'll play. It's this family's turn to play. Good luck. What's your answer? Okay. Um. Let's 
see here. Oh, I'm trying to think. A church? Show us the answer. No. Sorry, not what we're looking for. Let's hear your answer. Um a hospital. How about that answer? Great. All right, number two. Do you have an answer for us? Okay. A station? Is it there? No. Now you've got two strikes. Be careful or the other family can steal. Do you have an answer for us? Um... I'll try a store. Is it there? Great, it's good. All right, number three. Answer, All right, we have two more answers, so we still got to try to find. Let me see if I can think of another good answer here. Uh, how about an office building? Is it there? There. Number four! Alright, one more answer to go. Let's see if I can possibly find it. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Sorry. Strike three. Oh. Let's see if the other family can steal. You have a chance to All right, let's see if my opponents can steal these points. Is it there? They say a train station, and that's not up there, so this time you keep the points. keeps the points. Let's see the other answers, please. Number five. All right, what was number five? Factory. Okay. You are this round winner. All right, now time to go to round three, and points are now doubled. Survey 100 people, top five answers. Top five answers are on the board to this question. And a fruit with a tart taste. What's your answer? Name a fruit with a tart taste. Uh, I'm gonna say apple. No. Um. Okay. How about orange? What does the survey say? No. What's your answer? Alright. What does my opponent say? Let's hope it's I already said orange! No, I'm sorry, that isn't one of them. Do you have an answer for us? Um I'll try lime. Let's hope it's there. Yes. There we go, number four. I'm gonna play. This family's going to play. Do you have an answer for us? I'll say... Um, pineapple. How about that answer? No. Sorry, that's not the correct answer. What do you think? Oh, how about cherry? Will that answer do? Alright, it's number three. Hear your answer. Okay. Let's see if I can think of another good answer. Uh, how about grapefruit? Will that answer do? Grapefruit. Number two! Correct. What do you think? Okay. Two more answers to find. See if I can possibly find any more of them. Um, how about plum? Will that answer do? Good answer. Number five. What's your answer? Uh, only the top answer is left. Let's see if I can find it. I'm just getting a little tough here. Ah, oh, strike two. 
one more in the other family will be getting ready to steal. Give us your answer, please. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. I don't know. Strike three. Oh no! Too many strikes. Let's see if the other family can steal. This is your chance to steal. Give me an answer that isn't on the board. Alright, my uh, opponent's it's saying it's mango. Oh, no, no, it's not there. Steal. So, so we get to keep the points. Keep the points. What were the other answers? Alright, what was the top answer? Lemon! Okay. The round is yours. Alright. At least we do have the lead right now. Uh, now on to round four, and points are triple. We surveyed 100 people. Top four answers. All right, top four answers are on the board for this question. The place where people sit on benches. What do you think? All right, name a place where people sit on benches. Uh, the park. Let's hope it's there. Number one answer. Play? I'll play. It's this family's turn to play. Good luck. What's your answer? All right. I'll say stadium. Let's see if it's up there. There it is. Number two. What's your answer? All right. I'll go with school. Is it there? No. Your answer isn't there. Let's hear your answer. Um, I'll say a bus stop. How about that answer? There it Number is. three. What do you think? All right, one more answer left. Let's see if I can find it. Um, let's see here. I don't know. Strike two. Okay, you have two strikes so far. Another wrong answer, and you'll give the other family a chance to steal. What's your answer? Alright. Well, let's, let's see if I can possibly find the uh, last answer here. Uh, my last chance here. No, I can't think of anything. Strike three. Sorry, that's three strikes. Let's see if the other family can steal. This is your. All right, to so let's see if my opponents can steal the points. On the board. Let's hope they say there. prison. No, I didn't think so. So we keep the points. Keeps the points. What else was there on the board? Number four. All right, what was number four? Church. Okay. I was not thinking that, but it's okay. But we're still going to fast money for a shot of twenty thousand dollars. You'll answer five survey questions. If you win two hundred points or more total, you win twenty thousand dollars. Name someone it's important to trust. Name someone it is important to trust. Um uh, I'll say parents. Name a place where people are annoyed by noisy children. A place where people are annoyed by noisy children. Um, school? Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Uh, I'll say policeman. Name a chore that husbands usually do very sloppily. Name a chore that husbands usually do very sloppily. Um, a vacuum? Name something built to rock back and forth. Name something built to rock back and forth. A rocking horse. Alright, let's go over the answers we put down. Parents got six. School. Oh, that got nothing. Alright, policeman. Oh, that got nothing, too. 
A vacuum. Oh, that also got nothing. All right, and rocking horse. Four. Oh, we're not doing very good right now. We need 190 points right here while answering these surveys again. We'll see what happens. Name someone that's important to trust. I'll say teacher. Name a place where people are annoyed by noisy children. Name a place where people are annoyed by noisy children. Um. Let's see. Pass. Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Um. Pass. Name a chore that husbands usually do very sloppily. Name a chore that husbands usually do very sloppily. Um. Cook. Name something built to rock back and forth. Name something built to rock back and forth. Uh, rocking chair. Name a place where people are annoyed by noisy children. Name a place where people are annoyed by noisy children. I don't know. I'm just gonna let the time run out. We're just gonna go over the answers that we were able to put down. Alright, let's see how much teacher got. Zero! What? Cook. There we go. 46. And rocking chair. 78. Alright, so we got a total of 134 points. Alright. See you next time on Family Feud. So, uh, let's see uh, how much uh, money we were able to win uh, in this segment if I uh, add it all up here. I think, uh, if I remember right from what I uh, calculated right here, um, I was able to win myself uh, $680 right there. So, uh, i say it's not too bad uh, overall right there. It's a little bit of a shame that we couldn't win the $20,000, but I did try my best and that's all that really matters. But hopefully Nick is still uh, alright with the total that I was able to win him for this segment. But yeah, anyways, uh, that is going to do it for Family Feud Decades for the Nintendo Wii as part of my birthday special for Nick the Enlightened. But we still have one more game left to play, and we'll be right back for that final segment right after this. Stay tuned.